this thing on? Um, I think so. Oh. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Intellect, Intellect Challenge, Challenge University, University Cup 2020. 2020. The Intellect Challenge is made up of two competitions. The first is the main challenge. This is the ninth year we have run our annual coding competition. We give away a prize pool of 200,000 Rand to the community members that can write the best bot to play a classic or retro game. Intellect runs the challenge every year as a fun way to bring the software community together, but also to demystify the world of coding and artificial intelligence. The community can interact with each other while coding to solve an interesting problem. This year, the theme is racing. Participants build bots to cross the finish line first, while dodging obstacles like cyber trucks and using boosters to give them an edge over their competitors. The contestants battle it out over four tournaments that take place throughout the course of the year. The first was box carding, the second was furious and the fast 42, and the upcoming tournament is Vrpa! What a dash, China! <laughs> All of these lead up to the finals, Carmageddon, which will be hosted at Comic Con Africa online. The mini playoff series will provide more opportunities for contestants to win and be entered into the finals. The contestants get the opportunity to win golden ticket in each of the first two mini playoffs, and the third mini playoff, the top six, will win a golden ticket. This makes up the final eight that will compete at Comic Con in the final event. The second is the University Cup, which is hosted this year for the third time. The challenge was born in 2018 because there was a massive interest in the main challenge by university students. But due to exams and other academic scheduling concerns, students felt that they did not have sufficient time to compete throughout the year. This cup is a one-day hackathon where teams of students from various universities around the country are challenged to solve optimization problems thematically related to the main challenge. We hope to give our future technology leaders a chance to flex their brain muscles and participate in something fun and rewarding. Each member of the winning team will win a gaming laptop and some interesting tech for the university's lab. The winning team will also receive tickets to Comic-Con Africa online to watch the main intellect challenge final event. The problem will be released at 8.45. You will then be able to download the problem statement and maps on the player portal. We hope that you have all registered your teams of two to three participants. You cannot compete alone to win this challenge. We've set up a Discord server where you can join your university. If you are without a team, you can ask there to join one. Keep in mind that team creation will close at 9.30. At two o'clock, we will be freezing the leaderboard to create some suspense of who is on top. At strictly three o'clock, the submissions will be closed. We won't be accepting any submissions after this time. And then at around 3.30, we will announce the winners. This year, you are going to be optimizing the placement of batteries in a power grid for an alternative fuel company. The company needs solutions for laying out batteries within their existing power grids. This solution needs to be optimized because power transmissions and distribution is negatively affected by gaps between batteries. They need you to come up with the best solution for placing their batteries, taking into account the space already used for other components. Your goal is to create an algorithm that will place these batteries in an optimal location within the power grids. There are five power grids that we need solutions for. While there are 25 battery shapes at your disposal, each grid will have certain restrictions on which of the 25 battery shapes you can use and how many of each battery shape. In addition to this, not all the space is available on the grid for you to fill. Certain parts of the power grid are blocked to make space for other components needed to keep the grid up and running. You may upload as many solutions as possible for each grid. The more submissions you upload for each grid, the higher your chances of getting the best score. The grid is a quadrilateral shape that is described as R, C, where R denotes the row and C the column. The coordinates 0, 0 are positioned in the top left corner of the grid. In the input file you receive, you can expect the size of the grid and the coordinates of the spaces on the grid that are blocked out. 
In this example, the coordinates that are blocked out are indicated on the screen. The input file will also have a list of the available shapes and the quantities of each shape you have to use on the grid. As mentioned, there are 25 shapes available to you, but are limited to a subset of the shapes for each grid. The shapes have an ID to identify the shape, a capacity which defines the storage of the shape, and a visual representation. The shapes may be rotated 90 degrees, but flipping or reflecting the shape is not permitted. The batteries are outlined in the shape index in the problem statement, which will soon be able to download. To make things a little easier, we have given you a file that describes each shape with a bounding box. But do not be bound by this. This will just help you represent this programmatically and is more of a suggested method for representing the shapes. The output file should be a .txt file containing the shapes you used and the coordinates they are located in. The shape ID will come first and then the coordinates delimited by a pipe. For example, if shape 1 is chosen and placed here, we expect the following entry in your output file, a 1 to indicate the shape ID and the following numbers to indicate the coordinates. Similarly, if shape 2 is chosen and placed here, we expect a 2 to indicate the shape ID and the following numbers to indicate the coordinates. Along with this .txt file, we also expect a zip file containing the source code used to generate the solution. Keep in mind that it is not always possible to fill all the spaces on the grid. Points will be allocated for every space filled and deducted for every space left empty relative to size of the white space. You will be allocated 10 points for every cell filled correctly. If there are any incorrectly placed pieces, this could be due to batteries overlapping each other or reserved spots as well as batteries placed out of bounds, they will not be counted. Four points will be deducted for every cell left empty or where there is a group of connected white cells, the deduction will equal the number of those white cells multiplied by two. Your score will also be modified. There are two values that are generated from the solution, total capacity and total number of spaces filled by the shapes placed. The ratio of total capacity divided by area filled is multiplied to your preliminary score to give you your final score. This final score will be rounded up to the nearest digit. For example, in this first solution the file has all but one block allocated, so the score is calculated as 39 blocks filled multiplied by 10 minus 4 for the one empty block. If the score multiplier equals 1.555, the final score ends up being 600.423, which is rounded down to 600. In the second solution, there are three spaces left unfilled, but two of those blocks are located next to one another, and so the solution will be worked out as 37 blocks filled multiplied by 10, minus 4 for the one empty block, and then minus 2 times 2 for the two block white space. If the score multiplier equals 1.5135, the final score ends up being 547.887, which is rounded up to 548. Your overall goal is to get the best possible score for each grid. Your final score is calculated as the sum of your highest score for each grid. In the event of a tie, the team that got the best solution first will win. So, time is of the essence. In 2018, the first year we ran the competition, the University of Pretoria, the Keys, <laughs> claimed their title as the University Cup champions. In 2019, however, they were dethroned by the University of Cape Town. Now, it is 2020. And we are yet to find out who will be riding out into the sunset with their gaming laptops in hand and the title as the reigning champions of the Intellect Challenge University Cup. Meet the Intellect Challenge team. A very special thanks to Priv and Ashad who coded the problem you are trying to optimize today. We will be on standby to answer any questions or concerns you may have throughout the day. To ask these questions, make sure to join the Intellect Challenge University Cup Discord server. Once you've joined the server, you must pick your university. And we will have representatives hanging out in the university channels. So post any questions or comments in the text or voice channel for the fastest feedback. Alternatively, you may ask the team on the forum or via email. 
The problem statement should be available on the website shortly. And we are sure that you are ready to get going. So good luck and and may may the the best best university win. win.